Okay, welcome everyone. So I, I don't like to start the shear with a negative note, but uh, I just got word from my mother and from Esther Stern that uh, Dr. Radin was in a bicycle accident. He was in Baltimore and his bicycle was hit by a car. Uh, I understand that he's in the hospital in what they call serious but not critical condition. Um, for those that don't know, it is absolutely easy to daven for Dr. Raiden. Dr. Raiden, I, I know many, 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 many doctors of many, many, many types. Dr. Raiden is what we call a kindly healer. He is the most amazingly um, kind, patient, caring, professional uh, doctor that you can imagine. Uh, he was amazing to Miriam Libby countless times. He was amazing to Badal Chaim, to my mother. So the Rabbi Nisham should reward him Mida Kenegin and Mida and give him a Rafu Shalem. His name is Moshe Yitzchak Ben Brindel Fega. Moshe Yitzchak Ben Brindel Fega. Everybody out there, wherever you're listening, Kalalash and Tor, anytime, Seik Pitopitilim, write down the name, Moshe Yitzchak Ben Brindel Fega, YouTube, uh, uh, Facebook, Zoomers. Subscribers, Moshe Yitzchak Ben Brian Lofege should have a Rafu Shalema Besech Shachar Yisrael. We also learn a Rafu Shalema for Moshe Ben Pesel, Rabbi Snow, who is now in ICU recovering for Tzipor Rabbas Malka Etel, uh, Dov Ben Pearl. They should have a Rafu Shalema Besech Shachar Yisrael. Uh, our shir is sponsored. Uh, by Baruch Ian, Lili Nishmas, Yaakov Chaim and Abba, Esther Bas Gittel, Avram Ben Shmuel Akain, Yaakov Yemansky, with Akar Satov to the Rav and the Zoom family, and Nachas from children and grandchildren, by A.B. Spry from Nachas from children and grandchildren, Ed Salah from London, Joshua Rosenberg, a virtual Talmud, uh, and um, by Shalom Fogel, Lili Nishmas, Yaakov Zev, Ben Yehuda Arye, Rivka Bas Yaakov Yosef, Tziv Yamirim Bas God, Yais ben Siyam ben Yaakov Zev, that the Neshama should have an Aliyah. And uh, it is wonderful to see everybody here as we welcome in Stephen Holtzman. It's good to see uh, for Shalema for Yaakov Avadia, Avadia, Avadia ben Freyda Rivka. Uh, it's good to see um, uh, Michal Avram back. I was a little worried about you yesterday, seeing you in bed like that. But it's good to have you rejoin us. And uh, of course, Berish, it's great to see you. Rich Leonard, Ruvain Shannett. Uh, and uh, we welcome in Irving Fishbaum, Saba, Amenachem yeah, Yemansky, Baruch Ian. We welcome in Rabbi Kranz. Uh, and uh, I think that's Ben Cian Cohn. Uh, uh, Michal, uh, Yisrael Fisher, Marshall Castle, Dr. Block, Yitzi Fuchs, Nachman Chapla, Yitzi Muller, Ilya Schutman, Chaim Braun, Avram Rezepkowitz, Shelley Zeitlin, Abe Arbach, David Helfgott on Kola Loshin. Okay, we're holding uh, on the bottom line of Daf Samach Dalit Amid Beis. Remember, we were discussing the whole time about if Meicher is Ba'ayin Yafa Meicher, when you sell, if you sell generously, or Meicher Ba'ayin Ra Meicher, or you sell more stingily, more miserly. So, Itmar Rav, Huna Amar Rav. Now we're going to have a battle between Rav and Shmuel. Itmar. Rav Huna Amar Rav, Rav Huna says in the name of Rav, Aloch Kedivrei Chachamim. The Aloch is like the Chacham, that the Meicher sells more uh, miserly. Rav Yermi Abba Amar Shmuel, while Rav Yermi Abba says in the name of Shmuel, Aloch Rabbi Akiva, that Meicher, shh, that Meicher Ba'ayin Yofa Meicher. Amalei Rav Yermi Abba Rav Huna, so Rav Yermi Abba said to Rav Huna, this is confusing. 
Vazimnen Sagin Amrita Kame Derav, several times, uh, I, 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 several times, I said before Rav uh, that the Allah is like Hilchas Akrabi Akiva, and he didn't protest. And, uh, and now you're telling me that Rav says that the Allah is like. Uh, is like is like the chachamim. I don't I don't I don't understand that. Um, the uh, the correct translation of I translated zimnan sagian as several times, but the, the 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 correct translation is many times because which makes sense because you know we call somebody that's can't see saginar, lot of light. So we see that sagi, which is euphemism, but we see sagi means a lot. So he said, Zim and Sakim, many times I'm reading Kamadurav. I said before Rav, Hilchus and Krabi Kiva, Vulayamali Vulaymide, and he didn't protest. And now you're telling me the Rav says that the Allah is like the Chachamim? <laughs> so then he told him, Yeah, but when you said the Machloikis between Rabbi Akiva and the Chachamim, how did you say the opinions? Tanisa. How did you say the opinion? So and then he uh, realized Amalei Ipcha Tanina. I said it the other way around. I said that the Chachamim hold Ayin Yafa and Rabbi Kiva holds Ayin Ra. Ah, so he says Mishum Hachi Loi That's why he didn't say anything when you told him that the Allah is like Rabbi Akiva because he, he taka holds Meicher Ba'in Ra Meicher. Amalei Ravina Ravashi. So Ravina said to Ravashi, Lema Tamayu. Let's say Rav and Shmuel follow their reasoning. Now we're going to refer to the law of uh, a division of Yerusha. Now remember when we hold that Oach and Shecholku, brothers that divide, are Lekuchasein. They're considered like buyers. And the reason is, is because unless they divide everything in half. They take the dining room table and divide it in half, you know, and they, and, 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 and they divide everything in half, the, the couch they divide in half, uh, then it could be that they're Yoshim. But since they don't do that, one takes the table and one takes the couch, one takes the refridge and one takes the washing machine and dryer, so therefore, they are bartering, or so to speak, selling to one another, uh, making these arrangements. So they're considered like buyers. Now, again, when just let's get the opinions over here clear. Clear. Rav says Meicher ba'ayin ra Meicher, and Shmuel says the Allah is like Rabbi Akiva that Meicher ba'ayin yafa Meicher. So the Gemara wants to suggest. That they follow their reasoning, the Amr Rav Nachman, Amr Shmuel, for Rav Nachman says in the name of Shmuel, who holds that Meicher Bayin, Yafa Meicher, the Amr Rav Nachman, Amr Shmuel, Achim Shecholku, brothers that divide, Ein Lohen Loi Derech Zeal Zeh. They don't have a claim of right away one on another, so that if one has a vineyard and inside the vineyard the other brother has a um, a mill, so he can't claim a right of way to get to the mill. Why? Because this is Shmuel, the Gemara suggests, Lushitasai, that when he, so to speak, sold the vineyard to the brother, he sold it by Ayin Yafa, and therefore he didn't reserve even the right of way. They don't have the right to lean their ladders on the other one's land. They don't have a right to claim that you can't block the window. They don't have the right to run an irrigation canal through the other one's property. And be careful with these laws. They're fixed laws. While Rav Amar, now Rav here is going to go according to his Shita site, that Rav holds Meicher Ba'ayin Ra Meicher, so when he sold, so to speak, the vineyard, he was stingy and he kept right of way. The Rav Amar, Rav says, Yeshlem. So Gemara says, so we already see 
that Rav and Shmuel uh, respectively hold Meichab Ayin uh, uh, Ra and Meichab Ayin Yafa. So the Gemara says Tzricha. We need both cases. I see I didn't make a bracha. Baruch HaTad Ignei Lehin Melech Ilam Sha'akol Nia Bidvaro. Says the Gemara, it's not superfluous. It's not superfluous. Tzricha, they're both necessary. The Yashmin on Bahi, if if we teach the case of Yerusha, Bahi comma Rav, maybe it's only over there that Rav says that when he gets the mill, he gets the right of way to get to the mill. Why? Mishum da Amale, because each son could say, Bo'ino lemeidurbe ki heichid de dairebe avasai. I have the right in my Yerusha, in my inheritance, to, to live in it the way father lived in it. And father had the right of way to get the mill because he owned everything. And father had the right of way to lean the ladder on the land. And father had the right of way to run an irrigation canal on the property. Avo Baha, but buy a house, where you sell the house. Uh, maybe he agrees with Shmuel that the Amoicher is buying Yafa Moicher. Be it my Bahach. And if he says it only by the house, maybe only over there does Shmuel say, and he sells everything and doesn't reserve for himself the rights. But by Yerusha, that uh, the, the, the Yerush has the right of way because he claims to do it like the way the father did it. So Tzricha, they have to argue in both cases. So now the Gemara finally asks, what's the halacha? What's the bottom line? Amalei Rav Nachman Ravuna, Rav Nachman, who, by the way, was the son-in-law of the Reish Galusa, very well connected, and as we'll see in the Gemara, very aware of the decisions of the court. Amalei Rav Nachman Ravuna, Hilchas Kavosin, is the halacha like us, Rav Nachman was a Talmud of Shmuel, and therefore is the halacha like us that Moicher Bayin Yafa Moicher, or Hilchas Kavas Aichu, or is the halacha like you? Amale, so Rav Huna told Rav Nachman Hilchas Kavas Aichu, the halacha follows you because you know what the Dayanim Paskin, the Mekravisa Lebava the Reish Galusa, because you're. Uh, as a son-in-law, you're close to the Reish Galusa, the Shrikei Daine, where you see the process of the court, and therefore you know the process of the court, what it is, and therefore Allah is like Shmuel, who paskins like Rabbi Akiva, that Moicher Ba'ayin Yofa Moicher. Now, Emma, we're going to need, uh, we're going to need a few guys over here. Um, so, in this case, uh, Nachman has two houses. One on the inside, one on the outside facing the street. And the only way to get from the inside house to the street is by going through the outside house. So, Nachman sells the inside house to Marshall and the outside house he sells to Shell. The question is, does Marshall have to buy the right of way from Shelley in order to get to the street? So, Imar, Shnei Batim Zelif Nimizeh. Two houses, one within the other. Shnei Embemecha, if they were both sold, in other words, Nachman sold them both, the inner one to Marshall, the outer one to Shelley, or Shneim Bematana, or he gave them both as a gift. 
because to each he sold Ba'ayin Yafa generously, and therefore he didn't uh, reserve any right of way for Marshall to get through Shelley's house. Kol Shechein, and that's for sure, if Chitzayin B'matana, if Shelley, the outer one, was given a gift, a gift is done more benevolently, Upnimi B'mecha, Marshall was only given a sale, for sure he didn't give Marshall the right of way because he sold to, he gave the gift to Shelley very, very benevolently. What about Chitzayin B'mecher Upnimi B'matana? What about if Nachman gave it to Marshall as a gift and Shelley as a sale. Now there, since he gave Marshall a gift, maybe he was being more generous with Marshall because it was a gift. And maybe he even gave him the right of way to get through Shelley. So some of you know, the Gemara th- thought, being that it's Marshall, that Marshall doesn't have the right, even though he got it as a gift. However, the end of the day is the Gemara sides with Marshall. Veloyi, it's not so. Because me like Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah Vamed, Vamamumba When do we say these laws by a sale? Avobanaisim matana, but giving a gift, it's done more benevolently. And Naisin is kulan, he's given all rights. Alma mandi yov matana, but I am Yav. One that gives a gift is gives it more benevolently. In this case, Nachman sold the outer land to Shelley, gifted the inner land to Marshall. It was given Matana by Yav, and therefore he gave him even the right of way, and Marshall does not have to buy it, and he has more money for bourbon. Now, uh, which he needs because he's really not doing anything to impact the share. Um, Rabbi, does it make any difference which happens first? No. No. Now, says the new Mishnah, four lines from the bottom of Samachay and Alpha. I just want to tell you what our schedule will be tonight. Uh, first, we will be doing the daf. After the daf, we will be doing for the Shabbos table. And then after, for the Shabbos table, we will be doing the Mishnah Yaina. So again, a triple crown this evening. Hamoicher um, es in the event that Nachman sells a house, Mocher es hadeles, he sells with it anything attached to the ground. So he sells with it the door. Avaleyes hamafteh, but not the portable key. He sells a mortar that's attached to the ground. But not a movable one. He sells the track that the mill runs on. But not the hopper, which is portable. Not an oven, not a double stove. However, when Nachman tells Marshall... I'm selling it, you it and everything inside it. Then he gets even the oven and the double stove. Now, Lema Masnison, our Mishnah that says that anything that's not attached to the ground is not sold with the property. Lema Masnison, the like Reb Meir. Let's say the Mishnah is not like Reb Meir. The Reb Meir. Ha'omar, Rameya says, Mocher es ha-kerem, if you sell a vineyard, if Nachman sells a vineyard to Marshall, Mocher tashmi kerem, he sells even the supports of the vines. The vines were supported with spikes, with uh, uh, reeds, and those weren't attached to the ground, and yet Rameya says that sold together with the vineyard. Says him right now, Afilu Temer Rameir, Hosam Kaviyah. Those um, supports were not moved to anywhere else. And that's why, even though they're not attached, they're sold with the vine. 
vineyard. Hacha like kavia. Here, the portable mortar is sometimes taken and given out to other people. Says, well, that's not a good, a good answer. Because the Mishnah says that you don't sell the key. But the key, even though it's portable, it's exclusive to the house. It's a key that's similar to a door. That it's permanent for the house. It's exclusive to the house, and yet it's not sold. Ella, so then why are the supports of the vine sold, even though they're exclusive to the vineyard? Ella says, you know, the Gemara capitulates. It must be that our Mishnah is not like Ramea. Turn around on it. Somebody that sells a house, Mocheres Adelis, he sells with it the door, because as we said, that's fixed to the ground. There's a nagar, and the bolt of the door that's attached to the door. There's a minnow, and the lock on the door that's attached to the door. But not the key, which is portable. Mocheres Amachteshes Hakakuka. He sells a mortar that was hollowed out after the rock was attached to the ground. No, it's first there was a rock in the ground, and you hollowed it out when it was already attached to the ground. So that's considered so. Avaloya sakfua, but not a mortar which you hollowed out first and then attached to the ground. That's not considered part of the house. You sell the track that's attached to the ground. Not the hopper, not the oven, not a double stove, not a mill. Rebeliezer says it makes no difference if the mortar was hollowed out and then attached or the mortar was uh, 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 first attached or was a rock that was hollowed out when it's, uh, 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 well, while it was already on the ground. It makes no difference. If it's attached to the ground, it's attached to the ground. It's like the door and it's sold with the property. And therefore he holds that even if you hollowed out the mortar first and then attached it to the ground, it's still now considered like karka and it's sold together with the house. So now the Gemara says, uh, but if Nachman tells Marshall, I'm selling you it and everything that's in it, it's all sold to Marshall. Uh, the, uh, the oven, the stove, all the types of mortars. In either way, he doesn't get the well, not the, the brick line cistern, not the lower wing of the house. So now the Gemara takes us to a, you know, this is what it's called, Maven Dover Mitech Dover, making applications. Right? That's a, a very important uh, part of. Uh, extrapolating laws from the Gemara. The Gemara doesn't talk about all situations. We have to make applications, right? So this is a classic application. The din is that if uh, you put water into the mikvah via a keli, the mikvah is possible because then that's mayim she'uven, drawn water, right? The water has to travel through something that's part of the ground. If it's, tra- if it's part of the ground, then it's not considered a keli, and then it's not mayim she'uvim. That's part of the complexities of making a mikveh. It has to be drawn through something that is considered karka and not a keli. Now, 
The question is, what happens if we make a pipe, hollow out a pipe, and then connect it to the ground? So, Tanur Abanan, Tzinar, a pipe, Shechokaku L'Besayf Kavu, that you carved it out and then attached it to the ground, Poisales HaMikvah, because it, then it has a din of a keli, even after you attach it to the ground, and it disqualifies the mikvah because it's Mayim She'uvim. Kavu, but if you attach something to the ground, Ule B'Sayf Chakaku, and hollowed it out only after it was attached, then ain't a paisal as a mikvah, because then it's already considered to be karka and not a keli, and it doesn't render it mayim shuvin. Now, Mani, who's the author of this teaching? Loi Rebeliezer, Loi Rabban. It seems to be not like Rebeliezer and not like the Rabban. So the Gemara says, which Rebeliezer is it not like? Hey, Rebeliezer. So the Gemara thinks, of course, it means our Rebeliezer over here. Because Rebel Yezir said that even if you hollowed out the Machteshes and then attached it to the ground, it's considered like the ground. Because he said, But here we said if you hollow out the, the pipe and attach it to the ground, it's not the ground. And the apostle is the mikvah. So Elaim and Rebel Yezir, the bias, says, come on, no. Maybe the reason that he holds that whatever is attached to the ground is like the ground, it doesn't mean that it has a din of a kark and it's not a keli. It's just that he's more generous in the sale because he holds moicha bayin yafa moicha. Though my the time of the rebel, he has a sava moicha bayin yafa moicha. And therefore it includes in the sale even that which is hollowed out and then attached to the ground. It doesn't have to do with whether it loses its status of a cave. So to Mietz Hashem Matzi Shabbos at 9.40, Matzi Shabbos at 9.40, uh, we will uh, discuss which Rebel Yezer and which Rabbanan it is. Um, before we do the for the Shabbos table, I have a very important scheduling note. I'm sure on the, and Rich, and Irving, and, uh, and uh, Shelley, uh, you'll want to make this change. Rich, you'll have to announce it on Shabbos. Uh, probably the Daf Yomi on uh, next week was posted for 8.05. Uh, however, it's going to be 8.15 like this week. And the reason why it's going to be 8.15 like this week is because next week, when I'm here, still in the country, uh, I'm going to have to travel further for a Mincha and Marev. So I'm probably going to have to travel to Woodburn, to the Nicholsburger Rebbe, to Davin Mincha and Marev, and it takes me 10 extra minutes to get back to the bungalow. So I want to leave myself a buffer so uh, share next week again will be at 8.15. Probably it's looking like we, we, we are coming back Hashem, on Wednesday next week. Uh, however, it's looking now that I'll probably end up saying the Gemara and the Chumashir yet from here and come back afterwards. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, so e either way there will be a Chumash here but I'm not sure from where it will be if it will be from Fairways or if it will still be from here 